Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of Microsoft ERP Beginners Tutorial Series. So this episode is going to be the continuation of our previous episode. So in this episode, we will be discussing about financial dimensions and we will be focusing on the advanced rules texture that are available within the accounts textures in Microsoft Dynamic 365. With that note, let's get into the episode. Hi guys, welcome back and this is going to be the third video where we will be discussing about financial dimensions in Microsoft Dynamic 365. So in the first video, we did add an introduction to the financial dimensions and we tried to understand what is the concept of financial dimension. And in the second video, that is in the previous episode, we did explore about the accounts texture. So we did understand what an account structure is. So basically using an account structure, we try to link a main account with a financial dimensions. We already explored all of this in the previous episode. Just in case if you are coming directly to this video, I strongly recommend you to watch the previous two episodes and then continue watching with this particular episode. So we covered about the introduction, we covered about the account structure. So in this particular episode, we will uh, cover about the advanced rules that you can set up within an account structure. So firstly, let's try to understand what is an advanced rule and what is the, uh, the advanced rule structure that is available within the general ledger module. So first, let's try to understand that. So now going back to my ledger. So, um, as you all already know, we are all aware of uh, the thing that we have created four account structure against this particular uh, and associated with this particular ledger. And it is a part of our new legal entity, it's ADC Motor. And um, uh, in my example, of course, I created four account structure. I grouped all the asset account into one, one account structure, liability account, uh, revenue account and expense account, respectively, into different account structure. But in the real life, in your business, based on the customer's requirement, you will be configuring the account structure. It could even be, in your example, you may even split the expense account to the CapEx expense and OPEX expenses, all based on the customer's requirement. These are only the logics that I'm trying to tell you, but in the real life, you can apply this logic based on your customer's need and customer's requirement. So uh, if you remember, within this particular account structure, we have all our uh, asset account defined. So um, the asset accounts are all starting from uh, 100,000 to 1999. So all of this, asset, whenever I, I use this asset account in a transaction, we also seen an example using a general journal in the previous episode. So whenever I use any of this asset account, I, the system, ne I need to fill the, uh, the cost center and the department. So if it, they can be either mandatory or optional, right? In this case, they're optional. If I make them mandatory, then it will be like whenever I choose any of this asset account, it will become mandatory for me to choose the cost center and department before proceeding with the posting this transaction. So likewise, um, for the expense account as well, we did define uh, a structure which is uh, whichever whenever I use any of these expense account, I will be requiring a department to be filled in before posting the transaction. And of course we can make it as a mandatory or optional. In this case, it's optional. But according to my current account structure rule, whenever I use any one of this account within this expense category, I only need to fill the department. But what if my business has a rule where, um, for one of this account, let's say account starting with 300001 or 300000 100. So for one, that particular account, in, apart from the department, I also want to fill a cost center. I also want to fill a worker, let's say, for example. In such cases, I need to define a, a exceptional rule for just one particular account, right? So how do I handle that scenario? So for handling such a scenario, we need to definitely use an advanced rule. Okay. So let's try to first understand what do I mean by advanced rule? I know that this explanation is not sufficient enough for you to understand. So let me uh, open my PPT to explain you better. So let's say that we have all of this 
main accounts that you see on the screen uh, as a part of our chart of account right so just uh, have your attention from um, uh, 300,000 until uh, 310120 okay all of these are main account so whenever I will be using any of this account in a transaction then the system will ask me to fill only the uh, department that's because of our current account structure which requires a department for any of the account which falls under the expense category but as I mentioned before what if this particular account let's say the employee salary whenever i use in a transaction uh, as per our business rule we not just need a department but we also need to know which worker the salary is going to the expense is uh, being posted against right so for that particular account i also want the worker okay it's it's of course going to be an advanced rule and we are going to now set up an advanced rule for this particular scenario so in order to achieve this scenario we need to uh, uh, we need to configure it with two steps it could be little confusing in the beginning but if you start practicing with me it will be easier if you are a beginner of course um, the first step is going to be there's something called as a advanced rules texture that is in the system that we, we have to get in there and we have to first uh, include the worker as an advanced rule structure it need not necessarily be worker in your real time case it could be apart from the department worker and you may need two more dimension that needs to be filled in whenever i use this account that is one uh, three one zero zero four zero for remaining all other accounts i only need a department so in such cases you need to include all those exceptional rules uh, inside the advanced rule structure in this case I need only worker so I'm going to include only the worker in my account uh, advanced rules texture so once I create my advanced rules texture with the worker in it I go back to the account texture that is the same screen that you see here and I get into the area at the top I know I'm not sure whether it's visible it's called advanced rule and I'm going to map this advanced rules texture against this particular account okay that way Whenever I use this account in the transaction, the system knows that this account is attached to this advanced rules texture. So whenever I use this account, the system will not only just ask department, but I may also need to fill the worker. Okay. So this is the high level concept of advanced rules texture. So let's get into the system and try to do this. So as I mentioned in the description, let's get into the advanced rule structures so advanced rule structure is available under the uh, you know start chart of accounts texture advanced rule structure so now let's create a new advanced rule structure so that's going to be the employee salary let's say salary So the advanced rules texture, it almost looks like the, the previous screen, right? So it almost looks like the ad, uh, accounts texture. Let me just uh, try to go there and show you. But it is not an accounts texture. It is an advanced rules texture. Okay. So just like the accounts texture, you also have ability to add a segment here. So just go and add a segment here. So when you are trying to add a segment, uh, it will show all the financial dimensions that are available uh, custom dimension derived dimension everything will be here so I'm going to choose my worker so based on my example and I'm going to add it so this is the first step we discussed in the PPT right so I'm trying to add my uh, dimension dimension financial dimension into the advanced rule structure I can even define the the date range for which this particular rules will be valid but in this case I'm not going to fill any value because I want this rule to be valid throughout okay so once you do this uh, you definitely need to activate it okay so while it is activating let me also try to show you how does the um, advanced rule looks like just to compare both the screens uh, just go to the general ledger not refreshing 
oh sorry i first need to activate it okay it's now activating uh so uh let me go into the advanced rules texture which is under the texture advanced rules texture so let's say this is account the expense so here what we have is we have the main account and we have our original financial dimension and we also have activate button we activated it and in fact we use the segment button to add the department here if you remember okay um, but the advanced rules texture it's a little different so it doesn't have the main account column it only has the the financial dimension because in this we only uh, add the financial dimension we will not mention the main account here that needs to be mentioned in a different area so now this is activated go back oh it's still activating let me refresh yeah it's now active so we first step is advanced rules texture okay so now let's go back and get into the accounts texture which is this one uh, so in the accounts texture now we need to link the advanced rules texture that we have defined against the specific main account right so uh, I cannot simply add an additional segment here and add a worker because if I do so, then the worker will be applicable for almost all the expense account. I don't want the worker to be a part of all the expense account. It, I want the worker only to be a part of that one particular expense account. So of course I cannot add the worker here as a column. So what I'll do is I'll get into the advanced rule on the top and try to create an advanced rule. Oh, sorry, I first need to go back. Yeah, I need to make sure whether the expense account is not active. Okay, so let me first edit it. So the status of this needs to be changed to draft and then we'll get into the advanced rule. <clears throat> and now let's go to the... Um, advanced rule and create an advanced rule so let's name the name it as salary the same name okay so create and as i mentioned during the intro uh, we are now linking the advanced rules texture that is the advanced rule The advanced rules texture this one that we have created and we have also activated which also has a segment worker now we need to link it to the this particular section okay we are linking it in the advanced rule so i'm going to search for it and it has a worker and i'm going to add it so i have only linked the uh, the dimension texture here right so now i need to mention this particular rule is valid for which main account right so for that i need to click on the add criteria so the main account is i need to mention the value here okay so uh, let me go and look for that main account value so it's uh, i'm in the adc motor chart of account and against the expense account that's the account which i want this advanced rule to be applied copy it and place it there okay so the advanced rule will now be applicable for that only that account and the rule is going to be this particular advanced rules texture and in this advanced rules texture i only have one segment which is the worker so it is also possible that in this example i'm only doing it for one account but you can even mention the, uh, it's between i mean the range you know from uh, 310040 up to 3100 whatever range you want to so you can even apply the range and you can add multiple layers and multiple range and then you can define multiple advanced rules texture so in real life you will have multiple layers of this and multiple layers of this where you will be mentioning different advanced rules texture okay so i'm making this simple so i will be only just putting one account here that one okay so you can just 
take this logic and apply this logic in your business based on your customer's requirement. So yeah, so this is done and uh, I'm going to just uh, close this. That's saved. So meaning any other account other than the salary, uh, only the department will show up. But if at all you have um, that particular salary account, then the advanced rule will be applied. So as per the advanced rule for that account, you will also need to fill the salary. So we are done and do not forget to activate it again. Uh, it's in the draft status. So let's wait for that to activate. So activate it. So while it is activating, let's get into the general ledger and try to see how it looks like. So general journal and try to create a new general journal daily. Okay, so let me try, let me just check if it is done with activation. Still activating. So now it is active. Okay, so as you can see, so now let's go back to the journal. And just like in the previous video, if I go and select the, the rental account, which is also falling under the expense category, if I choose my rental account, then I may I need to only choose the department, okay? Because only the department is a mandatory field. So, but if I remove this and try to go with uh, the employee salary, then you will need to fill the department and you will also need to fill the worker name, okay? So that needs both of them. And again, um, in the account structure rule uh, that is here, advanced structure rule, if I get into the rule, I can even make this as a, a mandatory or optional, okay? So if I do not choose this, then the worker is a mandatory field to be filled in. So I can even control that within the advanced rule structure. Okay, so now if you see for that particular uh, account, I need to also specify the worker. But of course, for the offset account, we have no rule. So um, it will only follow the existing rule of having the department and cost centers. And also, let's just add a value here and just post it. And as soon as it gets posted, you will see that. The vouchers are posted to uh, the the worker level you can drill down up to the worker level in the voucher so this is the concept of uh, how we can use the advanced rule inside the account structure where we can create the exceptions for certain main accounts so you will see that uh, the the postings are done up to the employee level so that's it for uh, today's guys so see you again in the next episode with a new topic until then bye Thank you.